Welcome students. We are discussing some important questions of thermodynamics, and here we are. What are the conditions for a process to be reversible? For reversible process, we are discussing some problems. Although there is no perfect reversible process in universe, but following of the conditions are fulfilled, then it is possible to make the process to be reversed. So if a slowly occurring process can be considered as a reversible process, slowly process, liquefaction or evaporation. So this is one example, liquefaction or evaporation of a substance performed slowly. So this is one example where you can produce a reverse process. Number two, no net change in the entropy of the system and surrounding. So this was number one, this is number two, no entropy no net change in entropy of the system and the surrounding. So energy losses due to the friction during a cyclic process. So these are the three points. Here are the three points due to which we, we, we can make the condition for the reversible process to occur. So, what are the conditions for our process to be reversible? Although there is no perfect reversible process, we follow these three steps. So, we can make sure that the reversible process can sustain a slow occurring process, can be considered as a reversible. How? Liquefaction and evaporation, these two are basically slow, slow process. And due to these slow perfect, uh, processes, uh, system can perform reversible process. No net change in entropy of the system and surrounding. So energy losses are due to friction and negligible change in cyclic process. So thank you very much for your question.